Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on Bitcoin. We will take a look at the four hour time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by four hour in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents four hours. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just the past couple of days broken down into four hour time slices. I like to this time frame that has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this current situation is gonna make keeping the chart very relevant for quite a while, due to the fact of, you know, the, the fact that the price moved nicely today. And I say, you know, uh, keep the chart relevant because remember crypto markets are open 24 seven. So if you're watching this video, let's call it 20 hours from now, I wanna talk about a main level and some logic behind that level that's gonna help keep this, you know, video relevant. Cause yes, it is, the chart is gonna, you know, continue to form and change as time goes by. But if we watch this single level, it's gonna kind of tell you the overall status of things. And that level is right here at 6,200. And this is where the first update needs to come about. And this update is based on the fact that, or I should say really kind of just the general rule that when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support, especially in this case. Because like I said, there's no doubt about it, the price made a very nice bounce today and it's currently bouncing nicely. But that does bring about the more than logical, the more than valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this bounce? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea. But by using charts, we can make that very straightforward. And again, that's where 6200 comes into play because hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying that, thanks Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about 6200. Let's say the price comes down a hair, behaves in that manner, and then works its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows here. You'd have that set of lows down there. If you picture each of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you still have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. It's all about making progress forward. And in this situation, you know, it's you know just a question of can the price stay up above 6,200. So if, like I said, if you're watching this video 15, 20 hours from now, the key question you need to ask yourself is, hey, where does the price stand relative to 6,100 or 6,200? As long as you're answering that, hey, the price is above it, then that means that progress is still in play and is still being made. And that's really what you wanna see, because again, there's no doubt about it. Very nice bounce today, but now let's just see if there's any sort of true power behind it. So let's see over the next 24 hours, because I plan on doing this 24 hours from now. But yeah, let's see if the price can stay up above 6,200. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.